Scorpio. Welcome to Hangman Tarot. My name is Jordan. I am Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started here with your weekly predictions. Just kind of giving you an up view of how things might look. And if you come across anything that kind of resonates, then you will know what to do. Or you will have a good intention to move through it. All right, Scorpio, make sure that at the end of this video, you go ahead and like, share, follow Facebook, Instagram, as well as go check out on TikTok. It's Hangman Tarot. No spaces, no caps. All right. At the end of this video, there's going to be a area right around here. Hit subscribe. Then you'll get all the notifications to come back here. I don't know if I said that or not, but just do it. Just, just do it. Just go ahead and do it. All right, that's popped out. These cards have been jumping out. This light sear deck, it's pretty rad. Love the imagery, the art work on it. It really helps to create a story through the photo or through the artwork. Um, it's just nice, they're beautiful. All right. Okay. Oh, girl. Scorpio. Okay. You've got my heart today because that's right. You got the hanged man. All right. Hanged man. Mm. Mm. Love them. Nine of cups. Just floating around. It's like you're in a, one of those uh, gravity rooms. <clears throat> like, what the hell? Bring it back. All right. We've got the page of cups here. So with the hanged man this week, you in general are in a place of surrender, kind of letting go, kind of just receiving and sending and just watching, observing, um, taking things in. So you're in a place where you're just kind of releasing old bullshit or old belief systems, maybe old ways of seeing things, but you're in a really good hanging space. Um, there's a place this week in which you will have your wishes granted. So something about this week is going to bring forth something that you are going to be grateful for because it's something that you definitely wanted over time. Um, and you will be emotionally satisfied this week throughout your relationship. So that is also a plus. Um, again, you are around somebody who is... A little sensitive, a little bit of a dreamer, a little naive, and this person could be definitely a water sign, that is for sure. Um, but, you know, their head is usually in the clouds. They're usually like, and you're over here like, yeah, yeah, on this. So make sure whatever you do when you're around this individual, whatever this individual type, I mean, they could be a younger uh, person or even seemingly feel like a younger person or they're just their inner child is very much holding you know their cards so so to speak but make sure when you're around this individual that they that you enjoy them okay just go ahead and enjoy them and love on them but make sure that they don't take away from you know this outstanding place that you're at this place of surrender i mean how else would you want to be in this world so Intention for the week is to make sure that you continually continue moving forward in your relationship satisfied, continuing this new outlook in life, this new changed view in every sense of the word, and making sure that whenever you're around somebody who is a little naive, who is more of a dreamer, that you keep your head out of the clouds, okay? Don't let anybody assume over whom or what you're doing or the work that you've manifested. That is for the show, okay? Okay. All right. Scorpio, make sure, hit subscribe so you can come back for all your YouTube tarot readings with me, okay? Also, Facebook, Instagram, as well as go check out TikTok. It's Hangman Tarot and it has no caps, no spaces. So go follow, like, share all those, and we will see you again shortly.